I had to route my chapters here. Um, good evening, everyone. It's so nice to be here. Um, it's so special. Isn't the energy in this room great? Yeah. Doesn't it feel really good? I feel I feel very moved already. Um, I'm a proud member of the Maryland General Assembly in the House of Delegates, as you, as um, was said. I just got elected this cycle. Um, and it's been a whirlwind in the state of Maryland. We have more women um, in our General Assembly now more than ever. Um, and I'm very proud to be one of the youngest women. I know it's all, all, it's all the way at the end, but um, her and I are only about a month and a half apart in age. And we are currently, for my county, Prince George's County, one of the largest jurisdictions in the state. I'm the, the youngest woman elected in Prince George's County, so that everything that you do with your county politics is, is um, intense and affects what goes on in the state legislature. So I'm really excited to talk about not only state politics, a little bit of, maybe a little bit of federal, but it's a bit of a headache, but all that we can do at our local level to make sure that our voices are heard, that our agenda is heard, and that we create a, a demand for our vote. And I think that's my biggest um, issue and challenge um, and focus going forward as women of color, no matter what color, no matter what race, we have to have an agenda that is cohesive, that we all know, and that we demand. And the reality is, we can sit here and I can tell you what the white male agenda is. Mm -hmm. I can tell you a lot of agendas of a lot of people, I just use that one. But it's, what's hard about our community is Can't I tell our really agenda. tell you what the women of color agenda that's is. That's it, that's it. So that's what we need to do to go forward and I'll leave that at that and I'm just so happy and, and honored to be here. Thank you. That's it.